Yo, what's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck, and we are back with another draft banger. So if you are new, do us a huge favor, comment, like, subscribe somewhere down there, and be sure to turn that notification bell to stay updated with all, not only Dallas Cowboys content, but NFL draft content as well. So today I wanna to talk about a player and you've probably been seeing a lot of videos, especially if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan, circulate um, with this prospect. And honestly, he's one of my favorite prospects in this draft. Uh, I know years past, fam, we talked about toys, whether it was the Jamar Chases of the world or the Kyle Pitts, but as a Dallas Cowboy fan, we need a winner coat. We need a guy that's gonna be able to go into the trenches on the offensive line and get things done because we know this past season is where we struggled. And honestly, I was gonna drop this video last week after I dropped the Jermaine Johnson, the second video. And if you haven't seen that, definitely check that out. I'll drop that um, link below. Um, so definitely check out that prospect because he's one of my favorites, go to Knowles. Um, but when it comes to Kenyon Green, like I said, I wanted to drop the video, had some technical difficulties, so I'm dropping it now. But he's a versatile prospect. Now, I wanna be honest with y'all fam because we keep it real will he be available at 24 highly unlikely but you know sometimes you got a dream we never thought that you know Trayvon Diggs would slide to us CeeDee Lamb would slide to us and so things happen in the NFL draft but with this guy's versatility it's gonna be hard for him to fall to 24 but if he is there Dallas Cowboys fam he's a must he is a must um, so when you think about Kenyon Green Offensive guard is what he's listed as. Um, he played primarily his snaps there at offensive guard um, at Texas A&M, at left guard, actually, which we know we need a replacement for Connor Williams and also Connor McGovern. But he's versatile, and that is the huge benefit when it comes to Kenyon Green. And we're going to take a look at the film here in a second. He's able to play across the line. We're going to show him at left guard. We He's played left tackle. He's played right tackle. He's played right guard. He's played every position on the offensive line except the center position. So from a Dallas Cowboys fan standpoint, that's extremely valuable because we know that we not only need depth, but we also do need a left guard. So that can kind of give us some, some, some options when it comes to moving with our offensive line, whether some people want to slide Lyle to left guard and rotate Terrence still here and there. Kenyon Green gives us the opportunity to not only seal the left guard position, but also create other opportunities for, for moving things around if we need to, um, adding the extra depth layer. So he's 325 pounds. He's a big boy, about 6'4", and he can move. He can move. And you think about last year at Texas A&M, only one sack allowed, only two quarterback hits, and seven pressures, and he played 400 snaps at left guard. But like I said, he had other snaps across the board. Um, when I watch Kenyon Green, versatility is the main thing that stands out but also his athleticism. To be a big boy that can move a little bit, great footwork, high, high football IQ, which is desperately needed, um, especially on the offensive line. I love everything I see about this kid. He has a low, low pad level, man. He's able to keep his, you know, let's say his butt cheeks low. You know, he's just a, a tremendous prospect. And if he was to fall to us, we have to strongly consider taking them, Cowboys Nation. I know, you know, offensive linemen necessarily isn't always the sexy pick, but for what we need, we need Kenyon Green. So let's go ahead and get into the film. So in this first play, what we're going to see here, um, you have Kenyon Green. He is lined up at the right tackle position. And what's going to happen is the defensive lineman. I think this is versus Kent State. Yes, Kent State. They're going to want to run a stunt. The defensive end is going to come inside. You're going to have this tackle loop outside. Now, if you watch our Connor McGovern video, right, you know, this is something that a lot of people want to take uh, into consideration because we didn't get to see that fully because we know Connor McGovern was getting killed on these stunts. But I think Kenyon Green is going to be those players that has that high IQ and can pick up on some of these tedious things that you desperately need, especially from the Dallas Cowboys standpoint. So, like I said, they're going to run a stunt. And he's going to have great awareness and just pick it up. Boom. Right. So let's go back to it. See the defensive end comes in. Tackle loops around. Keon Green is right there at the right tackle position. Maintaining the block. Right. 
And the thing when it comes to Texas A&M, my guy Jimbo Fisher, even though he pieced out on us, you know, he pieced out on my nose. It is what it is. Um, you know, they throw a lot at Texas A&M. So he had a lot of opportunities in pass protection. Um, you know, I think the film on him when it comes down to run blocking isn't necessarily there's not a lot of it um, just due to the scheme, but he's great in, in run efficiency as well. He can do it all. So he's not limited. Um, one of the drawbacks I will say when it comes to Kenyon Green, it's kind of hard to find out what his position will be at the next level. Me personally, I think he is going to be a guard, left guard or right guard for an NFL team and maybe transition into tackle. If I had to say his primary position, it would be a guard versus tackle, but he can still play tackle, which we'll see here soon. Um, next play, he's still here at right tackle. Another stunt. Picks it up. Great in pass pro. So it's the awareness, the IQ, the leverage, the hand placement. He's great with his hands. He doesn't let the defensive player get engaged into his chest where they can you know, swim and bull rush and do this variety of different things. It's boom. You know, because that defensive tackle right there, he has his arms extended, right? But Keon Green got his hands on him, right? He's locked in. He's good. He's engaged. He has his back foot set like he is OK. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we desperately need, you know, to, to have that flexibility at the right tackle and get strong in the trenches. All right. This next play here, um, this is a play he's going to hold his block off the edge. He's at right tackle as well. And this place is showing that he's it's gonna be a scramble, but he's just gonna be looking for contact. He's gonna be now there's gonna be some goofiness in it, but he's just big in the way. But I like the way that he was constantly looking downfield. And if you watch Kenyon Green, you watch the extended film on him, he's always looking to touch somebody. Reach out and touch. Like he's looking out to reach out and touch somebody, which I like, especially down the field at the second and third level. So boom, blocking, I'm blocking. My quarterback's moving around. It's a lot going on. Oh, kind of goofy right there. Took out a man too, but he gets back. Look at him, trying to touch somebody else, you know? And that's what I like. That's what I like. Like, he didn't give up the play. He, at 325 pounds, he didn't start walking around clueless, right? He made some plays, made his block, went down the field, took out a man, got back on his feet a little bit, gathered himself. It's like, oh, damn, he's coming back this way. Let me make something happen. So I like the effort when it comes to King on Green. Now, I know what you're probably saying. Tuck, that's Kent State, bro. That's Kent State. Nobody gives a damn about what he did against Kent State. I want to see him in the trenches. All right, so here we go. Here's, here's Alabama, the big boys, right? Now he's lined up at the left tackle position. And he does a great job just holding leverage with the defensive end off the edge. Now we're playing big SEC football right now, you know. Boom, right there, right? Has good leverage, good hand placement. He's fighting. He's, he, you know what I'm saying? That, that's a war right there. That's SEC football, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So he's in the trenches right now, but he's holding his own at the left tackle position. You know, so it shows that the versatility that you're playing against Alabama and Jimbo's like, all right, bro, you're going to play left tackle today. So that's something you definitely got to be excited about. Now, this last play here, same thing. Now, I will say if I do have a weakness, I won't say a weakness, but a drawback sometimes when it comes to Keon, sometimes it gets a little grabby. And if you're a Dallas Cowboy fan, we know how the refs tend to aim, you know, when it comes to our offensive line. But I don't think it's a huge concern. I don't think he's going to turn to Connor Williams 2.0 where he's constantly holding. But this is a play here. We can kind of show that if he was a Dallas Cowboy, he had a star on the side of his helmet, they'd probably call a flag on this, to be honest with y'all. So chip blocked here. Eh, yeah, you know, you know how they do us in Dallas, y'all. Y'all know how they do us in Dallas. They probably going to call that. They probably going to call that on the Cowboys, right? But it's not a huge concern. Like I said, this is big boy football, SEC football. Has a lot of cloth in his hands. You know, but it is what it is, you know. So in the SEC, they let the boys play. In the NFC East, they do not. But that's Kenyon Green, y'all. Like I said, I love this prospect since the moment I saw him. Um, if he is available at 24, I am all for drafting Kenyon Green. Now, I know we're going to talk about the center, Tyler, as well, out of Iowa. Now, here's the conversation, Cowboys fan. We have to kind of ask ourselves. Do you want a center 
that can play guard. And me personally, I don't think they're going to go center. But do you want a center that can play guard? Or do you want a guard, which is going to be an open position, that can play tackle, right guard, and right tackle as well? I just think that Kenyon Green gives us just a little bit more of variety across the offensive line. So if he is available at 24, he is a must draft pick for the Dallas Cowboys. It's your boy Jay Tuck. Comment, like, subscribe. Like I said, I'm going to drop some more draft videos. You got a lot coming out. I apologize for the whole software issues. Had some issues this weekend, crashing, deleting videos, but we are back. Um, so definitely turn on that notification bell to stay updated. Also, follow me on Twitter at JTuck151 and CowboysFansOnly.com. We're going to go live this week for the Singer Bowl. I know my guy Big Game James is out there. My girl Steph's out there. So we're going to have some live coverage from the Singer Bowl. So it's draft season. We're going to tackle these prospects. We're going to start doing mock drafts. So you got to subscribe. You got to tune in. Are you going to miss out? I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged, and go Cowboys. Peace.